Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today I'm going to show you how to do this DIY Dutch side braid. Now I noticed in the trailers for Hunger Games that are coming out that Prim wears a hairstyle that's very similar to this but like a little bit younger version and we actually did that style many years ago. You can click this link if you want to see that one. But today I'm going to show you how to do the grown up, much more pancaked and full version of the same braid. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you love all of my Sunday tutorials and make sure you subscribe to our channel because that's awesome. So let's get going on the hairstyle. Okay, to begin this hairstyle, you can see that I've done kind of a deep part. It's about maybe halfway, right where my halfway mark on my eyebrow is, is where I parted. You can go farther this way and then the braid will fall farther on your forehead. That's just not my preference, so this is where I start it. Then I'm gonna pick up a good size piece of hair right here in the front and divide it into three sections. And we're going to begin the Dutch braid. Now we're going to be adding in pieces on both sides, so you can see I'm adding in some right there. And then I'm just going to reach back here, and I'm kind of maintaining this part line for now. I'm just going to grab a piece and add it in. And I'm pretty much working my way down my hairline, right here, trying to keep the braid just running right along my hairline. And I'm just trying to pick up the hair back here. This the only trick is this back part. You just want it to fall smoothly into the braid. So every time I add it in, I kind of just smooth it out. And so far I'm not really reaching over here yet, but I'm about to start. So right here on this back piece, this is probably my last one that's just my front hair. Now you'll see that I'm going to start reaching around and grabbing this other, the hair on the opposite side of my head. And again, I just want to make sure that it's sort of smoothed into the braid as we go along. And we want to, I left a couple little wispies, right here you can see, just out. But the rest of it you want to swoop to the side so you make sure that you're getting all of this hair back here. And you just grab a piece and keep adding in. You can see I'm doing pretty good sized sections when I'm grabbing my hair. I'm not being like stingy. And you can do smaller sections if you'd like to as well. Grab a little hair out here, add it in. I think I only have about one more add-in. Yep. And then I finish it out with a regular braid. Now at the end I'm going to secure with an elastic. And I left a little bit of tail at the bottom right here. And now I'm going to go back. You can leave it like this and it looks fine. And this is how Prim wears it in the movie. It's very similar to this, tight. But I'm going to go back and really puff and pull. So I'm a grown up, so I want it to look a little more older and mature, and the big giant puffy braids right now are really in. So I'm just going back, I'm really stretching each side of the braid. Just stretching, stretching, stretching all the way up. And this is what's gonna give you that really huge dynamic braid that you're seeing in pictures on Instagram and that kind of stuff that everyone's loving right now. So I'm just gonna keep working, go back and work some more all the way down the braid. If you have layers, this is where you might have some popping out. So I try to gently pull it down at the bottom. And when you're done stretching the braid to your desired effect, you have this giant, fun, puffy braid that comes onto one side of your head. And you're good to go. Brady and I are gonna show you the final spin. and you end up with this fantastic looking braid. Bye you guys. Be sure to check out our latest two videos that you can find here and show us some love by clicking on the subscribe button.